Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to spending quality time with your girl, Epo Ziton. Today, we're going to be talking about financial transparency. Well, this is our hot topics. Financial transparency is one of those issues that couples have to figure out how to put it on the table and make it clear. I do understand you have couples that don't want to discuss finances in terms of putting their monies together. Everybody controls their money and they just assume responsibilities. That's a different way, but guess what? A lot of times down the road that brings conflicts because one person after a while might assume that you both are making good amount of money and they are the ones paying most of the bills. Well, sometimes in some organized families, they arrange it in a way that they still do assume similar responsibilities. But again, that depends because when one person is making less and the other person is making more, and you guys decide to give equal balance of power where both have to spend the same amount in the household, it becomes a problem. So financial transparency to me is very important. And this is the way I understand it. And this is the way I'm, I'm going to advise couples to do. You want to make sure that from the get-go, that's why I said in relationships, because even those who are just dating, if you guys are dating and you guys are living in the same home, financial transparency is very important. Because a lot of times, most relationships that you guys are staying in the same home, the idea is that eventually you guys are going to become a partner, get married, and become a couple. So from that initial stage, it's good, it's good to talk about money, talk about the bills, talk about how the responsibilities can be you know, handled. Financial transparency, to me, I will assume that most couples should have a, an account which is just for bills and have to have the balance of power where you tell your partner, depending on how much they're making, how much is expected for them to contribute in the home. I know we have different kinds of family setups. We have families that the man might be a stay-at-home dad or the woman might be a stay-at-home mom and all they contribute is the work that they do around the home. But even in that case, to me, there should still be a financial transparency because we don't want our partners to be very, um, very thrifty where things that are going to be good for the home, they might be holding back because they're assuming that there's not en enough money um, to do those things. And we don't also want our partners to be extravagant where they want to spend so much, assuming that there's a lot of money in, our account, in the family account, meanwhile, there's not much because the man just give that front, like everything is okay. So they go about spending money that they don't have. Because of that, a lot of people have lost even their homes because I've had cases where the woman say, oh, I thought he was paying all the bills. I thought he was paying a mortgage. I can't understand why we're having letters of foreclosure because there was no financial transparency. If you guys had a financial transparency, even though you are stay-at-home parents who doesn't go out to make money, you're going to know how much money you guys have in your coffers and how the bills have been paid. Also, I know situations where one person say, oh, my husband pays all the bills. I just use my own money for my personal stuff. After a while, it becomes overwhelming, especially when your husband sees that you're spending your money on things that to him he doesn't think is it's necessary. You might think that's the th things that you want, things that you love. But because he's the one that pays all the bills, he's going to start getting upset. Because I always say that in every marriage, it's, there's always up and down, highs and lows. So there's a point where people are excited, infatuated, in love. And then there are times when the love sh get a little shaking. And then you build it up to go back up again, just up and down, up and down. So those periods of lows is when people's eyes are more open and they start questioning. Why is it that I'm the one paying all the bills and this woman is going out there and buying expensive stuff, you know, just trying to live affluently when I'm the one paying all the bills? So it's always good to have that financial transparency because in that case, your husband is going to know how much you're bringing forth and he is also going to let you know how much he brings. And sometimes you might even empathize with him and say, oh, no, honey. I know you don't care about my money, but if you're making this little and you're paying all the bills, how about let me assist you with one or two bills? Because guess what? It don't matter how small your money is. If you assist with something, it feels good. You can even walk around and feel like I'm part of, you know, the contribution of this home. I'm part of the one making this home to be successful. So financial transparency is something that to me, I'm going to encourage. And I always say that what I'm proposing is something that I know it works because I know it's something that I've put in action, so I know it works. But I'm not imposing my ideas on anyone, I'm just suggesting. 
and if it's working in your household where there's no transparency and things are good for you that's fine but for the most part financial transparency is very important in relationships here is the thing if you have a household it's good to have four accounts have an account where it's your personal account have an account which is your husband's personal account and then have a joint account where you have an account for bills to me, I always recommend four accounts, but three accounts is still okay. If you have four accounts, one is going to be for bills, one is going to be for miscellaneous, like if you guys want to support a cause or you want to support somebody who is going through some kind of crisis or you just want to use it for luxury and other things that you need around your home and for yourself, that's fine, that's miscellaneous. You know, and also you have your own personal account, which means that if you have personal stuff that you want to do, Personal treats or personal things that you want to do for you, you have that particular account. But this miscellaneous account is more of joint stuff for the family, for support and all of that. And your husband also has his own personal account for his own things that he wants to do to satisfy himself. Because I always say that when you work so hard, you need to pay yourself. So, and the other account, which is the bill account, you guys will know that our bills are paid every month. So even if you guys are running short, you might go to your miscellaneous account and pull something and say, this month was a little tight because maybe I was sick, I missed a few days of work, so my paycheck is a little low, so let's go to our miscellaneous and pull some money and be able to solve some of the problems that we have. So I'm emphasizing on the fact that people should be transparent when it comes to spending money in their household. Don't be that person that you don't want your husband to know how much you're making, you don't want to know how much you're spending on stuff, because eventually, slowly but surely, it's gonna creep in and bring problems in your household. But like I say, for those who are not transparent with their finances and it's working for them, that is fine. I always focus on the majority. Majority, if peop most people, if they follow the method of being transparent with their finances, a lot of shock is not gonna be in your household, even when you guys are going down the drain, you all go down the drain happily because you guys understand why you're going down the drain. And if you guys are succeeding, you guys will happily be happy that you're succeeding because you work together as a team and everything is going good. But it's a shock when you are not transparent with money. I know a case where a lady came on the show and was trying to see how they could help her with her bills. And she said, my credit card bills are more than $50,000 and my husband don't have a clue about that. That is a problem. Because I don't care how much you love to shop, your husband should still be aware that you're spending so much X amount of money in shopping, and he might even be the one to guide you so you don't go into owing so much. But when you do your own stuff and your husband doesn't know, and now you're coming on the show and saying, please, I want you to advise me how I can pay my credit card bills. That's a problem. And that's exactly what the host of that show told the lady, that you know what, you're going down into a crisis. Because guess what, most of these shows are watched by a lot of people. So your husband is eventually going to find out, and it might affect your marriage. So please, as a people, I'm encouraging financial transparency. And for those women who are lucky to have husbands that do everything, it also feels good if you chip in, if you tell your husband, I think I want to be a contributor to our bills. I think I want to do something to support our home. It feels good. And even if you're a little bit transparent and say, I, I'm just going to tell you how much I'm making because I don't want you to be imagining in terms of times when you are in crisis, you might be imagining that I might not be able to help. As much as you don't want me to spend so much in the home, but I do make such amount or X amount of money, so in times of crisis, don't hesitate to carry for extra help or support. Let's try to be honest to the people that we call our partners. I even know a story where there's a lady who was building a home for their for her parents and the husband did not have a clue and while she was building this house nobody knew that it was her who was building it because she was just sending the monies to her parents and they were doing this construction and one day like human nature i think the mom was boasting to a friend and saying oh my god thank god for my daughter you know she's doing so much to help us we're building this beautiful house and this lady went and told the in-laws and said oh wow she wasn't saying it like she was trying to bring problems she was saying it Proudly, like happy for her friend and said, oh, you know, my friend is so lucky. You guys have a beautiful um, in-law because, you know, she has that good heart to do for her parents. She's building a home for her parents. And this other family was like, oh, that's nice. So they told their son and their son was like, what? I don't have a problem because we run our home together, but I don't know that she makes so much money where she can have extra to help the parents to build a home. 
And the next thing, he came home and was like, oh, you always complain how you're broke, you don't have money, things are tight, so you're doing investments for your parents. I, can't, I don't think I want to be with a woman that I can trust. Because I always say that trust is the pillar of a marriage. A marriage without trust is not a marriage. A relationship without trust is already broken. So this man was like, no. Every time I'm going to be looking over my bag, the lady was like, I'm sorry, you know, because we don't, have, we don't join our money. That was my extra that I was doing for my parents. And he said, you should have told me. Because I've always assumed that you don't have money. You're always complaining. I want this. Oh, I cannot afford it. I wish I had money to do this. Meanwhile, you were doing this big, huge construction for your parents. It started giving him the idea that maybe she was planning to leave the marriage eventually. That's why she was doing all these things on the side. Well, some people are going to say, oh, I wanted to surprise you. What is a surprise to somebody that you love? What you're doing is, is as a team. So what, what, what do you mean by you wanted to surprise them? The last time I checked, even in the Bible, it said the two shall become one. So try to be a little bit transparent with your finances. Let your partner know, you know, that your intentions are good and, you know, you want to work with him or her so you guys can build a happy and healthy relationship. Well, let's put all these ideas into action. And for those who have not been doing the idea of being transparent with their finances, like I said, you don't really have to have the joint account, but at least let your partner know how much you're making so they know that in terms of crisis, they can come to you and you're going to be able to bail them out. Well, it's always lovely spending quality time with you and bye for now.